What's up guys, this is the Revman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to run off happened last time, I pretty much just spent a lot of time investing in my economy and in my infrastructure, and then Spain declared war on me. Fortunately, they've not really done much apart from blockading my port with a handful of rubbish ships. However, the Mexican Navy is forming up on the flank. Um, but I'm going to contend to let them build up for a bit more, so I've got absolutely overwhelming numbers. Well, not overwhelming wait until this recruitment queue is finished and then capture their ships and absor absorb them into the Mexican Navy. Diligente El Gran Alejandro. Cool. But yeah, Spain's declared war on me. The only territory they've got next to me is Panama. Um, so once this is been defeated a bit, once my port's opened up and I've got more money, I want to send a small force down here to take Panama, then ultimately send them up to take Cuba. Because cube is very, 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 very valuable because it has. Let me see. It's got average yield tobacco plantation, average yield tobacco plantation, medium yield sugar plantation, which isn't a lot, but three plantations, a town, and two ports. It's pretty big. Cuba can be very, very, very valuable, and it's close. It's easy to transport troops between my main region. Mexico itself is a very valuable region once I get um, the. Once I get the towns growing again, and I get the enlightenment, we get my schools going and start researching um, more advanced techs. Because right now I'm kind of limited to researching basic techs, or well, the most basic techs I can with my lower tier university. But it's hit N10. Well, my priest is moving up to try to remove my religious um, religious unrest because of that. But my plan is Mexican control of the Caribbean. Um, the United States won't like that, so I'll definitely need to develop a pretty strong navy to fight them off. And I'd like to be a bit more trade node oriented, be a bit more be a bit more, be a bit more naval in this than I have been previously. None of my campaigns have I've been have been really taking advantage, advantage of the navy, mainly because it feels like you can get by kind of ignoring it until you've got so much money you can just death stack your your navies even as the british it's never i've never really gone crazy with the navy until i've got first rates and but by the time i have first rates i've already conquered so much of the map that i'm just absolutely falling over money oh there you go sweden has conquered copenhagen as per usual as is tradition There is unused land suitable for plantation. Fine. Um, it's almost. It feels kind of not worth upgrading my ports until the the, the port is, becomes unblockaded. But yeah, low yield mine. Yeah, I'll upgrade the cotton plantation just because it doesn't produce unrest. Let's upgrade a road. Because roads are always good. See, I've got these trade theatres, but can you even... Are there even ports on this coast? Or is this just to attack from? Like, I'm pretty sure no South American nation gets a port on this coast to take advantage of those. Nope. So that's literally just a vulnerability. Cool. I keep checking my research, but obviously it's not gone anywhere. Okay, and then let's look at my recruitment and let's recruit a. I can't recruit a general. Let's recruit another Hussar. Go on, send these guys south. Cool, in turn. There we go. Let's see, hopefully, not deployed death stack of troops. I'm a bit I'm a bit concerned they're not attacking me. Hopefully they've shipped their troops away from Panama like they need them to defend health. Fingers crossed. So
Hmm. Good old Portugal. I'd like to expand my ports. Oh, look at that. Russians are getting involved. That might be an interesting positive side effect of having the Prussians in my theatre. If they're at war with the Spanish, they might send some of their fleets send some of their fleets over to the Caribbean. Or construct new fleets in the Caribbean. Although it is tricky. I'm trading with Sweden, who's attacking Britain, who I'm also trading with. So my trade partners are sparring off against each other. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this. How's Spain doing? Still, still saying, still saying positive. Okay, let's get a Royal Observatory. Because I will want. There you go. Now I can recruit a Presidente General. Courland's been destroyed by the Russians. Yes, it is the Russians. Right, let's hop back over to Spain. Good. One more turn to get my two fourths, then I will attack that fleet and open up the blockade. Good. There's nothing cheap I can buy either. Unfortunate. Radio, enter. Oh, Quebec gets the Spanish as well. Everyone's a war with everyone. Is there, are there no friends in this? Oh, the Quebec, the Quebecians beat the Spanish. Oh, but then sadly got destroyed in the second fight. Oh, they're pulling their fleet away. I'll be ready for when they come back. At least now I've opened up trade, or trade has opened up. I can recruit an army, go down to Panama, knock out Panama, sail on to Cuba, capture Cuba. Then I'll have been a bit of a moneymaker. Then I can capture Bogota really quickly. Knock them out of the game. Then head north, take out the Pueblo Nations. I think it's Pueblo Nations. Take them out, capture Texas, build a fort, or fortify Texas. I know who's going to be coming after that. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Fishing port. Yeah, that's probably a good shout. I'm not getting much trade because Sweden and Britain are both um, attacking each other. See, I don't want to trade with the Pueblo nations. Okay, so let's recruit. What am I going to get? What more money am I going to get next turn? About the same again. So let's start. Get two of them. Two of them. Two colonial line. Two more. Two more this year. Get a handful more units, then I will march onto Panama. And this navy is now <laughs> waiting in reserve. Good, Royal Palace is down. Can I upgrade that again? I can to an Imperial Palace. I'm going to want to upgrade the Drill School soon. Oh, ideally, it'd be now. So if I buy that now, in three turns this will be built. In three turns this will finish. So at the same turn, at the same point, this university would have finished this research and then Fiber Rank will have opened up. So let's do that. That's my general. Juan Galas. Soldier from birth. Cool. And turn. Uh, hmm. So there's not been as much fighting as you guys would have probably have liked in these early battles, but this is more nations that have large territories. If you're if I was the Italian states, I'd have already attacked and conquered a city by now because I'll have had to. I'll either either not gone for Italy or crossed the Med and hit the Barbary states. Which isn't as good. They're very they're quite low wealth cities, but you know, income is income. Um, knock out the Knights of St. John and capture Malta. That would also have been a good idea. There are options. Fundamentally there are options.
<laughs> I'm still quite chuffed that my single privateer is out in the uh, out in the trade theater. Oh, rebellion! My single privateer is out there in the trade theater, not getting harassed. I suppose I'm so used to um, pirates running around ruining everything. Okay, so then I probably want. So I'm gonna go for the Imperial Palace because I want to maximize re maximize repression to offset growth in clamor for reform. I forgot the line. So let's get some two Fusileros, and then that army will be strong enough to go down south, or even sail them down south. Maybe might be quicker. Well, we will be quicker. Good. How's the religion going? Good. Everyone will be converted in not very long. And what's the United States doing? Denmark? <laughs> so Prussia, Greece, Denmark, Savoy all have territories in the Americas. And Russia. Don't forget Russia. Good. 6,800 next turn. Give New Mexico... You are really punching, aren't you? Oh, you want Santa Fe for selective breeding. To be honest, that might not be a bad deal, but I don't care. I don't trade away my territories unless I've got... unless I've specifically captured one to give away. <laughs> like, it's an interesting tactic to say... I think I'm pretty sure I've done it... well, or have I done it? I have done it before, where I've captured an island territory in the Caribbean and I've given it to an Indian faction to just get them off my back about so they, so they, so they accept peace and they stop declaring war and invading my territories. It doesn't always work. Because the AI is sneaky. There's one thing the AI is, it's sneaky, with a capital S. India is so far off my radar right now. Ooh, hello. Has someone got Indian territory, that big white blob? Or is that... That's not Punjab. That's not the Punjab faction. Can't be. Oh, no, Britain. Don't, f don't be beaten by those Swedish puppets. You see that region's filled up fast. Mamelukes. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region. The Ottomans and the Barbary states. Okay, now let's go for the observatory. Don't recruit any more troops because it's not needed. Builders College. People run. Oh, they're only just positive because of my army. Might have to recruit some some troops. Cannot recruit. I can't recruit native auxiliary anymore. Fascinating. Oh, maybe a couple more units of line infantry. So what was their recruitment? War declared with the Barbary states and the Ottomans. Quebec and France are at war. And the Barbary states and the Ottomans one is interesting because are they the Ottomans going to then push west across the North America across um the North Coast? Public servant dies. Ah, plus one to management, plus one happiness, minus one to treasury. Okay, let's try. you as the head. Good. Plus four diplomatic relations. No prestige, but I can deal with that. Plus one to town wealth and home theatre. Good. More wealth, more growth. Ministers, plus one gold. Good. Where oh yeah, my growth is not good. T 
town is growing. Average yield, average yield. Very poor, meager yield, poor. Prosperous. Yeah, let's keep the keep the recruitment going. The ones that's ready, Shanama. Be an interesting challenge, really, because I, I need to try and expand and solidify my position faster than a major than a major nation will want would want to spend the effort to try and destroy me. If that makes sense. Like I need my empire to be quite robust economically and militarily before someone like Britain goes. Actually, we do want to conquer. We've changed him. We've changed our mind. It's Hanover. Hanover's getting stuck in. Everyone's laying into Britain right now. Jeez. Makes me wonder if it's even worth still trading with them. Do I pick someone else? I think they must literally be at war with most of the developed world at this point. I mean, it's tradition for Britain, I know. But they're, you know, what? Eight years off the heel of booting Napoleon back to Back to where he came from. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building planting. Good, so I can upgrade from this to fire by rank, which will take ages. Again, I've lost a lot of money probably because of trade. Um, yeah, I have. One more turn to the recruitment's done. Then they'll be out. I'm literally one goal off of buying both this plantation and this tax building. <laughs> so frustrating. It's not even... Mm, it's not really worth expanding the port if I can't. Ooh, metal roads. Metal roads for Mexico. Critical enabler. Tax burden. Why is the tax burden going up? Amusing CAD. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to recruit garrison troops when I leave. Frontiersmen. No way. Do I get one unit front? Two units of frontiersmen because it's all finished on the same turn. Excellent. Bravo. Um, no. God, Quebec's all about giving me bad deal. And if there's a thing politics these days has taught me, it's never to accept a bad deal. On both sides of the Atlantic. United Provinces being sneak sneaks. There hasn't been any massive scary changes in the map just yet. I mean, some of the smaller nations have been knocked out, as you'd expect. Mainly because there's so much more of them now. It is frustrating that the Colombians gave Russia and Lucia. Maybe if I capture them and declare peace. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this re Maybe if I declare peace. Maybe they won't care. Maybe they'll just keep going after me regardless. And I need and villages aren't growing. Because food shortages are getting worse. I don't know. Hmm. I need to really research into how to deal with food shortages. I mean we are growing slightly. Slightly positive, but not not enough. This Mexico's got still got a few towns that left. It's got Villa Hermosa there. And there's sure there's one more somewhere. Maybe not, maybe I'm loopy. Either way, Britain's at war with so many people. 
Mm. Anyway, army. Hop in there. Recruit units of militia just to keep them happy. Let's bring the Spanish, no, the Mexican Navy forth. Embark the troops. No, what a waste of time. Now let's be micro this navy. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Oh, moly. Yeah, I've got more artillery. Action line range, 110. Accuracy, 30. Got more accurate. I can outshoot them. I say go. Mysore's been destroyed by the Marathas. Interesting. They don't normally do that. And the Mughals have taken Katak. And then it also said the Iroquois Confederacy have been defeated as well by the United States. Yes, the United States. Holy moly. Okay. Okay, so I hope the Spanish Navy don't beat me up. Hmm. Maybe it might have been prudent to wait till I got fire by rank to guarantee I have that superiority. Then again, I have canister shot and I have more artillery. They have canister shot, I know, but canister shot in the hands of a human player is more dangerous than canister shot in the hands of the AI. But yeah, this arm is definitely gonna it's gonna push on take Colombia, and then it's gonna end up um, invading Cuba. To secure its resources for the greater good. And to be honest, if I, if I take Cuba, I would then try to seek peace with the Spanish. They might not let me, but I will try to sue for peace. Because I'm not, there's no point in me staying at war with them. Because I don't think, they, don't think, apart from that, they've not got, they've not got any territories I really want. There is a port in this region that is not wow. developed. Wow, nice one, Sweden. Select How about now? Do you want trade? Cool, good. Screw you, Sweden. Found someone just as better. Oh, they're already. They're also being blockaded. Okay, let's give you a government building. Let's upgrade your silver mine. Deploy the navy. Disembark the troops. Let's start the first battle from the new fledgling empire versus the old colonial power. So they have. Oh god, loads of that infantry is doing is knackered. Oh, well, I'm still going to fight it just because I haven't fought a battle yet. But holy. I didn't check. I didn't see he was de depleted, but what, who were they fighting? Well, either way. I'm going to... They, they should, or they do look, or they will look, too much of a carbon copy of the Spanish ones. I wouldn't be surprised if they, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, but these models have done quite a good job in actually mixing things up and making it a bit different. To try more irregular units. Okay, so. So, sorry, I thought something was bugging out a minute there. So, let's look at the Hazares. They look pretty good. Like the green bands on the on the cloaks. On the um, their jackets, they look pretty good. 
and then Fusileros. Oh yes, look at those. That's Mexican infantry, right? Holy moly. They look exactly like I wanted them to. Colonial line? Colonial line looks pretty good. It's more like American. Militia looks like militia. Frontiersmen. They look like frontiersmen with wide brimmed hats. Okay. Mexicans. Let's get my fusileros at the centre of my line. Ooh, I didn't realize how few units. How few men are in your units. Let's put well actually let's put two units of horse artillery. I'm assuming they're gonna want me to advance. Then let's put a unit of horse artillery over here. 12 pound howitzers to the sit there. Can't deploy any further out than this. Frontiersmen are gonna go here. They're gonna lead lead the advance, and then I'm gonna have my hussars on the left. I'm so used to moving up my artillery first, but I forget how fast horse artillery is. Spread them out. as my general. The Hessian line with the bright red coats. It's their artillery that is severely depleted. Move them up alongside my frontiersmen. Just done limber. Open fire. Just keep my troops wide. Open fire. Oh, I hear a cavalry charge. Fusileros going to open fire. Not an ideal, not an ideal 
formation to engage, so I'm going to spread them out even more to maximise their musket fire. Spread out my Fusileros. Not my Fusileros, my Frontiersmen. Regiment of Militias routing. Two. Oh, wow. They do not like the artillery fire, not one bit. Square, they're about to get charged. Fusileros, get in. You're not as good. You're not as good in melee combat, but there's so darn many of you. Good, let's get the flank on. Flank on? Screw that. Charge the general's bodyguard. Oh no, don't. He's running away. Good, good, good. Everything's going okay. Good. Everyone's falling back in short order. I probably lost more men than I normally do. <laughs> Native bone auxiliary. Charge him down, I suppose. Constantly getting sniped by the frontiersmen. There you go, I think that's probably gonna be it. But I'm still gonna still gonna continue because I wanna see if I can get my general some some cool um, um attributes. I'm not necessarily so bothered about making sure I get them all. It's just so that I can. It's just so to see if I can get my mech general some good more command points. Because I'm my first Mexican general. I'd like to actually keep track of him rather than just spam recruiting. Spam recruiting generals whenever I need them. Come on. Let's see if you can finish off that unit before it gets to the. Six, three, two, two, no, it's going to make it, dang. Good, got hold of them. No, it's just those guys. Cool. Excellent. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I lost 164 men. <laughs> Excellent. Chase them down. And I'll probably auto that. Yeah. Then they will spin around. Move their forces onto Panama. And then Panama will be mine. Excellent. But looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. And we have reached another step forward in rebuilding the Mexican Empire. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.